Be My Cat is a 2015 found footage horror film and it's written, directed, produced um, and starring uh, a guy called Adrian Tofei, Tofei um, who is Romanian, it's a Romanian film um, shot in English and it is very interesting First off the bat, this is a super low budget film and um, that's very apparent, you know, there's there's not a whole lot of um, production in this, it is, I mean the premise is just a guy with a camera, so we're not really expecting much more than that. I think that actually really works for films like this, um, it adds to the realism, we don't need much more on top of this. Um, we don't need many scenes of um, with y using special effects or gore or um, it's because of the budget a lot of it is left to your imagination and um, I actually prefer that to be honest. Quickly if um, any of you aren't aware of the premise um, it's about a Romanian um, man who is an aspiring filmmaker. He's just seen The Dark Knight Rises with Anne Hathaway as Catwoman and he's become obsessed with her and he's making this movie um, in order to send to her and sort of win her over and get her to star in his film which he's gonna call Be My Cat and he says simply this is because he loves cats and he also says that he hates boys and dogs. So I have to praise um, Adrian, who is our mm, more of an antagonist than a protagonist for sure. Um, he was really good in the role to the extent where I would be nervous if I were one of the women <laughs> on set with him, I think. I would be wondering if maybe this was a weird, um, sort of obsession of his and he was actually a, a weirdo. <laughs> but that does bring me into one of the negatives which um, took me out of the film a little bit in terms of realism is that the girls are a bit too trusting in my opinion. I think we get to see that they're over they're clearly like um, more desperate f just for work and maybe for they think this is gonna lead somewhere, you know, and make them famous. Um, we see one woman, one woman in particular, is, says a certain thing that lets us know that she's desperate for this role. Um, so maybe that's it, but they don't seem nervous at all when they're following him, you know, into his house, into his basement. They're alone with him. They're vulnerable. There, one woman, um, she lets him chain her to a bed and then they're alone together and she doesn't seem worried at all. She's laughing, she finds it funny. So for me that took me out a little bit. I would have liked to see them be a bit more cautious to begin with. Um, just one more negative. It would probably be that I got the impression that there was a lot of improvisation that went on with um, in terms of the dialogue and um, some scenes did tend to go on for a bit too long I thought um, or get a bit rambling so they dragged on a little bit but at the same time it does add to the realism you know real life dialogue it's not snappy and it's not like something um, that is written it, it can ramble on and go on for too long and just something in regards to um, I, what I think they could have improved. Um, this is really nitpicky. It's just, um, and not really a spoiler, I'm just gonna say there is one scene where there's some fake blood and I, I would have liked to see that done in a less is more approach. And honestly, it did kind of look like watery ketchup. But overall, I really did enjoy this movie, I think. It is, although it's a concept we've seen before, it is unique in its own way. But enough originality and um, character to elevate it above other found footage films. Five out of ten.